The primal cry of the Indigenous Rangers fan, one of Glasgow's oldest tribes. Born blue and with an instinctive hatred of their rival Celtic, these two ancient factions have been locked in bitter conflict for over a hundred years, separated by religion, brought together by battle, or football, as some like to call it. Hello, hello, we are the Billy Boys. The Billy Boys, a catchy wee ditty originally sang in celebration of a Protestant street gang, but now more commonly associated with King William of Orange, who came over from Holland in 1688 to curb the Catholic uprising. The mention of being up to one's knees in Fenian blood has long been controversial. Unsurprisingly, King William's marriage to his 15-year-old cousin is somewhat less celebrated. Of course, the rival tribe are never far from controversy themselves. Dirty hounds! Most of us just want to watch the football. In Glasgow, it's sometimes best to keep your allegiances to yourself. A vocal minority of troublemakers. That's what they call them. Now, I'm not saying I didn't sing the songs myself back in the day, because I did. My old man taught them to me the way his own taught him. Hello! Hello! We are the Burley Boys. Hello! Hello! You'll know us by your noise. <laughs> side by side, father and son. We've shed more tears on the terraces than anywhere else. I mean, we're Scottish. We're not supposed to show emotion. I live in London these days, but I still make it up for as many games with the old man as I can. What was that? Distance that helped me to see just how mental this city really is when it comes to football. Well, distance and a guy called Johnny from Belfast. We met in a London boozer. All we wanted to talk about was football in Glasgow. A land that time forgot. That's what he calls this place. Johnny's taken me over the water a few times. It's a different story over there. The troubles aren't forgotten, the history isn't ignored. But the thing is, most of them are moving on. So when I told the old man last week that I'd met someone, and he just so happened to be a Celtic supporting Catholic from Belfast, well, <laughs> it was like the five stages of grief. Stage one, no. No, he's no. Aye, aye, he is. Stage two. The next one's my favourite. Stage three. Maybe it's just a phase. Only he could call 29 years of Catholicism a phase. Stage four. Side by side. Father and son. Exactly, I told him. That's the important thing right there. Not all that shite about Fenian blood and no surrender. We didn't care about any of that sectarian pish when we stopped Celtic winning the league at Ibrox back in 2012, or when we scored that penalty against Fiorentina in 2008 to send us to the UEFA Cup final. None of that came from hate or religious division. It came from love, for football, for Rangers, for each other. Look, <laughs> Glasgow's got its problems when it comes to football, there's no doubt about that, but there's more passion in this city for the beautiful game than anywhere else in the world. I mean, where else would a man find it harder to tell his old man which team his boyfriend supports than the fact he's got a bloody boyfriend in the first place? I told him I'd be here today in the usual spot, 
with three tickets, two for the Rangers end, one for the Celtic. So maybe we could all go for a pint after the game. Hey. Hey. Come on. Not missing kickoff for that old. Stage five. 